The M23 say they now want the fighting to stop. The superior firepower of the Congolese army, heavily supported by the UN, has backed the rebels into a corner. A big push in recent weeks has seen the M23 lose all its strongholds in the east of the country. With hundreds of thousands displaced by the conflict, which began in April last year, many are happy to see the army get the upper hand. Residents turned out on the streets of the border town of Bunagana earlier this week to welcome government soldiers. The rebellion started when a group of top-ranking officers left the army. They felt the terms of an earlier peace deal were not being honoured. At its height, the M23 briefly took the regional capital Goma over a year ago, and that was the trigger for the UN to beef up its peacekeeping force. Crucially, there's a stop-start peace process going on in neighbouring Uganda. In September, regional heads of state came together to see if they could get the talks going again. The M23 now seems committed to that process. It's not clear if the DRC Army's guns will go silent, as fighting continues despite the M23's call for a ceasefire. Now there's a lot of pressure to find a negotiated solution. And what matters are the terms of a new peace deal, so to avoid sowing the seeds of another rebellion. Damien Zane, BBC News.